Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my C Sharp tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, setting up and getting Visual Studio 2010 Express for C Sharp, as well as grabbing XNA with the Windows Phone. Now, um, in this tutorial, first we're going to learn a little bit about C Sharp, and we may do a side bit where we actually learn a little bit about Windows Forms, but the main point of the series is to eventually build up into XNA and then 2D game programming and then 3D. And we'll probably build a small 2D engine and a 3D one, but I don't think we'll do anything incredibly complex, but we'll see as time goes by. Okay, so the first thing is we need to do is uh, check the description and there will be a direct link to this in the description. And you need to download Visual Studio uh, C Sharp 2010 Express. Uh, if you'd like, you can also should be down here. You can grab the Express ISO images, which will grab them all, and then you can update them. Okay, so we're gonna go in and grab that one, and I already have it installed, uh, but it's just a web installer. It's very tiny, so grab it and then let it run and download everything, and then install it and then register it. It's relatively simple and the next thing is with the downloads if you want to do phone programming which we won't uh, you can actually download XNA Game Studio as right here as you see in the Windows Phone Developer Tools and you can click that and it'll get it for you alternatively you can do it here as well uh, but you can also just grab this one if you only plan to do console and desktop well Windows um, this is the only one I have, though I do think I also have the Windows Phone, but um, we won't actually be learning anything at all to do with uh, the Windows Phone. Okay, so once you have all that done, um, you should see this. Uh, this is what Visual C Sharp 2010 looks like when you first launch it. Um, all this is changeable. You have the toolbox over here, which we will probably cover in our WinForm series. Uh, at the moment it has nothing in it, but I'm just going to click this to rehad it. Now, there's one thing we are missing, uh, but we'll go and first create a project. So to create a new project, we go to File, New Project. Um, also, should note before we go any further, uh, these tutorials will work obviously with the Pro version, or I think it's called the Ultimate version, Ultimate Edition, if you happen to have it. Uh, I do have it, but for this tutorial, we're just going to use uh, Express. It's what most of you guys have. And you also notice if you have Pro, uh, it doesn't temporarily create the project. Um, if we say we select console application, we want to, we can give it a name, any name, uh, tutorial project, and then we hit OK. And then it will build it. Uh, this project is temporary, so if we don't save it and we close out of it, it'll just get rid of it. Uh, it's kind of a nice thing about the Express series. Okay, um, now you see we have properties and the solution explorer. Now, everything uh, inside of uh, Visual Studio is movable and redockable, and you can see all the different methods. And I actually like to keep the solution and project explorer together. Okay, so that concludes uh, this tutorial. And the next tutorial, we're going to cover actually begin coding. And we're going to create our hello world that everyone's used to. And we'll also learn about comments and code organization before we get too far along. And then we will just, you know, do a quick crash course into C Sharp, jump straight over to XNA, and we'll begin coding some games. All right, if you have any questions, please stop by my forums. As well, if you would like, you can follow me on Twitter or my Facebook. Uh, they're also in the description. And you can keep up to date with what I'm doing. All right. Thank you.